Hi everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at the latest version of Android on the Raspberry Pi. This is a version of Lineage OS that is ported to the Raspberry Pi by Consta Kang. I'm not sure if or how you can get the Google Play Store up and running, but let's check out the operating system. So first of all, what I'm just going to do is show you that we are on the latest version. So if we pull these down right here, this is a little different than before for sure. They, this is kind of, there's some UI changes in this version. But if we go to settings here and go to the bottom, we can see that it is my Raspberry Pi. And we can see the version right here. And if we click on that and click on it again, I guess we have to click a bunch of times. Then we get into this and you just have to set it just like that. There we go. So that is the version. First of all, and then if we hold down here, there's some new widgets in this version. And I'm not exactly sure which ones these are, but let's take a look. There are some different ones. So I think that this is kind of a new thing right here. So there's some new widgets. One thing that I noticed is this. And then if we had the Play Store up and running, we could do more performance testing. There is a browser built in, but it doesn't do, it's not like very good. It seems like if we used, you know, Chrome or something like that, it may be better, but I can't install that right now. The reason why I can't get the Google Play Store up and running yet is because of the package that is required. They don't really have that quite up to date as far as I know. I flashed this operating system a couple of days ago, so I haven't really done much investigating since then. But I just wanted to give you a first look of the operating system. So let's check out some more things and see if we can see anything new. So I forgot all the keyboard shortcuts, but there is a keyboard shortcut to make it go into standby. I was just going to see if the lock screen has any noticeable changes. I guess maybe we don't even have a lock screen unless we set a pin. But I just wanted to give you a first look of the operating system. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly what I should do yet because I, I can't really do a lot. I'm not sure what I'd really do. But it is possible to get these up and running on your Raspberry Pi. So if you head over to the link in the description, you can see right here. And so this is where you can get it. You just download it with this link and then flash it with Raspberry Pi Imager. I have a tutorial on that. And so you can just get it up and running in the normal way. So there's not much to say right now, but I hope that we can get the Google Play Store up and running before too long and if you want to see me testing that and stuff when i get it working and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe until next time it's fortnite kiwi from super user project dial